वेलकम फ्रेंड्स वी आर इन द ईयर 2019, थाउजेंड नाइनटीन द एंड ऑफ जनवरी वी आर ऑल अवेटिंग द बजट फॉर द ईयर टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फ्रॉम द न्यू फिनेंस मिनिस्टर मिस्टर पीयूष गोयल हु इज टेम्पररीली टेकन चार्ज फ्रॉम मिस्टर जेटली नाउ द टेक्सटाइल इंडस्ट्री इज राइट नाउ ग्रैपलिंग विद टू मेजर इशूज वन इज द ट्रेड वॉर बिटवीन यू एस एंड चाइना ड्यू टू विच दर इज अ मेजर डिस्क्रप्शन इन द ट्रेड मॉडल्स इन in the economies of the emerging nations and uh, in the trade uh, relations between countries so the demand for yarn and fabric has fallen and uh, against that the prices of cotton have gone down this could be a good thing for the industry but the industry is not happy because the supply chain is bleeding actually on the other side there is the farmer distress this has been a year of drought for india a very scanty rainfall year due to which the crop yield has fallen due to the low yield of cotton the crop is expected to fall by not less than 8 to 10% in the season 2018 19 so both ways industry wise and farmer wise the year till now doesn't look very promising unless things change for the better post the trade war so what should happen in the new budget that can help the industry especially the agriculture industry uh, the farmers growing cotton cotton plays an important role in indian economy as the country's textile industry is predominantly cotton based india is one of the largest producers as well as exporters of cotton yarn the textile industry is expected to reach a us 223 billion by the year 2021 it is also the highest employment generating industry after agriculture although india is the largest producer of cotton i mean it covers nearly 25% of world share and the second largest consumer and exporter of cotton indian cotton market faces the two main challenges of low yield and contamination such that many farmers ginners exporters and spinners are facing survival issues yields in india are lower by about 200 to 300% compared to other cotton uh, producing countries who are india's competitors like us china brazil australia 70% of indian cotton farmers spend more than what they earn as low yield and crop losses due to diseases arising out of long duration crops have put severe limitations on the income of these farmers farmers are losing money growing cotton and ag- agriculture is becoming more of a liability for them there is rising distress amongst farmers which may prove to be fatal for the textile industry and the country on the whole if the government and the textile industry does not focus on increasing the yield and quality of indian cotton we may never see the ache din for farmers and industry in the near future so things are serious friends and serious measures have to be taken looking at the yield production and consumption figures of cotton in india in the last 6 years i can confidently say that india will become a net importer of cotton in the next 3 years we need to address the situation of poor yields and seed of of seed cotton at sub standard quality of indian cotton bales so that it is not discounted with an iron hand to regain the glory of indian cotton textile industry we need to rediscover the economics of indian cotton this can contribute to the national gdp increasing income of farmers and all stakeholders of the cotton textile industry create more employment for the nation ensuring cotton textile industry of uninterrupted supply of quality cotton so much investment is happening in textile has already happened in textiles just imagine friends if we do not receive quality cotton in time if there is an disruption in the supply of cotton things can be very very dicey for the textile industry and farmers are not happy for this cotton guru strongly recommends four things from the government in the current budget of 2019 20 best quality of seeds there is no dispute that seeds are the main source of increasing the yield and the production as well as the quality so the farmers are entitled to best quality latest technology seeds so the government must allocate a special budget a very huge budget for research in the seeds so that uh, the farmers get the best quality of seeds suitable for indian agro climatic condition these seeds must be of a higher ginning outturn so that farmers realize better prices and ginners are happy to pay the higher prices to the farmers so best quality of seeds suitable to indian agroclimatic conditions 
with a higher ginning outturn that is the primary requirement in this budget provision of 24 hours of power for the agriculture agriculture must be considered as an industry like any other industry and like any other industry it is entitled to 24 hours power supply power during the day time will encourage more and more young farmers to come into farming will uh, give more access to laborers to to vendors who can give their best uh, 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 technology services to farming and this will help increase the production as well as the yield over the shelf subsidy for drip irrigation this the the the, the uh, situation is not common across all states if we see the benefits of irrigation the it should be a national policy over the shelf uh, subsidy of at least 50 if not 75 percent to help increase the yield and the prosperity of farmer this will save a lot of water and cost of drawing water during drought year like the year 2018 and uh, the last point would be at least 50 percent incentives and subsidies on cost effective value addition of cotton cotton seeds cotton stocks promoting agri smes in villages we need to increase rural employment we need to bring the people from city the entrepreneurs from cities to the villages create more entrepreneurship in the rural areas this will help in generating more employment and entrepreneurship restraining the migration to cities decreasing the load on the cities so the four suggestions of cotton guru for the budget if they are addressed i am sure are going to be uh, a game changers for the cotton and the textile industry but till mr piyush goel releases the new budget best wishes from cotton guru to all the farmers and all stakeholders of the cotton industry